Okay, the other day I posted a video uh, showing the new Heaven picture that I was given by Ian Cote. It's uh, a new addition to my Doodly for Churches collection. And there was an effect I used in there to bring the colours uh, in on the background. And I promised that I would make a tutorial showing the very simple technique uh, that can be used using any um, external video editing software that includes transitions. If it doesn't include transitions, you can't use it, but if it does, then you can use it. So it's very, very simple. If, um, it's using the color technique where you've got um, overlaid uh, black and white outline um, and color images. Uh, in my collection, they are all sized exactly the same. So I put the black and white there first. Then put the color one over it. Line them up roughly and put them up to a large size and then make sure that they are actually overlaid accurately. Up, down, left and right. Yep, so they're good to go. And the, te the technique is simply this. Use the... Oh, it's, this technique only works if you've got erase off, so I'll get rid of that. Um, for the black and white, for the outline image, set however long you want to, to take to draw it. That's perfectly normal. Then in the color image, instead of drawing it, you simply display it. So you, you, always, you do this in zero seconds. But you put a delay in front of it that matches up with the amount of time you'll need to bring in the coloring effect that you're going to use in the other program. So if you want a one second fade in, then you're going to put one in there. Uh, for my part, I kind of recommend using two at least because it gives you a bit of room to move some video editors uh, apply the transition in a in a way that uses a bit more time. Um, so if you use at least two, and you can bring you can bring the transition in over five seconds. You can bring it in over whatever length of time you like. But I'll use two, set it in there, and then I also always suggest, for usability's sake, that you add some time at the end of any slide that you're doing, but particularly if it's the end of your video. Because then, if you're using an external editor, you can put a fade out or something on something on there to, to, to end it more nicely. So that's all I've got. This is just one color image. Draw it, draw the outline in however long it is you want it to take. Then a delay followed by zero second draw. So if I look at it in here, okay, that's the export roll button. If I preview it in here, you'll see it draws the image, and then it just goes bang with the display. So now I'm going to do my export. Uh, th these are the settings I almost always use: uh, 720p and and 86%. For what it's worth, I don't I don't think most human beings can pick the difference between 86% and 100%. But the processing required massively different, and I almost never ever use uh, full 1080p because it's just extra processing for something most people can't see. Certainly not worth it on Facebook or YouTube, in my view. Anyway, I will export those. I'll stick them into my uh, I had a name for this. Uh, Jesus with the children. So I stuck it in. So I'm going to cheat and speed this up. You don't want to sit here and watch this build. But don't think that I get the, this any faster speed than what you do in building. So there's my file. So now I'll run up Video Studio. I'm, I'm using Video Studio Ultimate X10. It wouldn't matter what version you were using. It really wouldn't. Uh, because this, uh, what we're doing here is so basic. It, it's, it's in every version since forever. So I'm going to take the image that I just created, drop it in the timeline. Then I need to find the exact frame in which the color image is introduced.
So let me back that far. Okay, near enough won't do, it has to be exactly the frame. There you go, so back a frame, back a frame. Here it goes, forward a frame, that's it. Now, um, all these programs have a means by which you can split the clip. Uh, in Video Studio, you right click and you just say split clip. But sometimes it's a button, uh, sometimes off the menu. Very often it's on a, a right-click context menu. So that separates what was in black and white from what's going to be in color. Now, all we do then in Video Studio is choose transitions. And we choose the transition that we want to use that's going to bring in the color. Now, you can use any transition that doesn't change the original image. If it stretches it, if it moves it out of the way, the effect won't work, but if it leaves it intact as the new uh, image moves in, it'll work fine. So I'm hovering here over circle. Circle will work fine, right? But if I if I go next to it to clap up, you see A gets swung out of the way and it and it won't work. Let me let me just show you. Here, here's clapper. Come on, do what you're told. Yeah, that didn't show you anything. Yeah, don't you hate previews? Do it slowly. Can't do it at all. Come on. Right? See, it moves it out of the way. You don't. That's that's no drawing system. Right? So let me go to the circle, and show you. If I use the circle effect, then the colors grow out of the middle. And, and it, it basically floods it. Now, any, any effect, any, any transition that does that with it, brings in the new without destroying the old, um, can be used. So, uh, very often there are some in the list called mask. Masks are generally pretty good for it. Um, there's a few masks in Video Studio here. Uh, I don't mind this one. It's a little different, but I don't mind it. It's quite nice. It sweeps through with the color. Okay, so you, you could use that. Uh, there's a mask over here that does a rough draw. Okay, it does it just as well, it's just different. Uh, my, the, the, the most basic one you can use is a, is a crossfade or a fade. Not a fade to black, fade black will take it out before it brings it back in. But a crossfade, where are we? Crossfade is the simplest of the lot. It will just go from, from black and white through to color in a straight line. Look very smooth. Uh, my favorite one here in, video, in, in my transitions in Video Studio is, uh, where's it gone? Is flow. I might not use it on a picture like this, but for a big wide background, um, I think it looks quite lovely. But anyway, that's the general idea. You simply drop the transition over. It takes you from the outline image through to the color image. Um, according to that transition effect, uh, you export your project as an MP4 and voila, that image has been, uh, has had its colors, uh, brought in, in a, um, non-drawing, in a filling, uh, transition kind of style. The beauty of it is that you can apply that technique to any number of images in your doodly. Um, 
all you do when you come to one that you're going to bring in in your external program is um, is say uh, two second, three second delay or whatever you're going to use on the image, on the color image, and a zero draw time, and then you leave it and move on. When you come to your external editor, you come in, you find that point, you split the clip, you drop a transition over it, and you move on. And your video remains completely intact um, when you export it. The whole job gets done with those color images in one uh, one editing job. So it really, very, very simple, and most video editors uh, will let you do it. it will, what will vary will be the transition effects available for you to use.